welcome back to Kelly Varlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below, along with my PO box if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. Until December 15th, you can receive 15% off of my stinking cute merchandise using coupon code KBDEC2018. You can find the link to my merchandise in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today's DIY I cannot wait to bring to you using these Dollar Tree magnetic tins that you can get in the office supply aisle of your local Dollar Tree. I am so excited to bring you this DIY because this DIY is not only a quick and easy DIY, but it makes for a really great gift for this time of year. So let's jump into it. Let me show you what I have in mind for these metal magnetic tins that you can get from the Dollar Tree. For this DIY, I picked up a set of these magnetic tins from the Dollar Tree, some faux snow, a bunch of this pine cone and berry floral arrangement. From Walmart for 97 cents, I picked up this twig and branch type arrangement with crystals. I'll also be using some ribbon that I have already in my stash that I got from Michaels last year in their grab bags after Christmas. Starting off at the Dollar Tree, you can get two different sizes in these magnetic tins. This larger size that also comes in a two pack and this smaller size. I will be using both for today's DIY. And the magnet to these tins is on the back here. Using the lid to this tin canister, I'm gonna place it on a photo and I'm using the lid because it's see-through and I can easily frame in the picture that I wanna use for this DIY. Then I'm simply just going to trace the outside of this lid. When cutting my picture out, I'm gonna cut just inside the line. One, because I don't want the ink to show on my picture and two, because I need my picture to be a bit smaller than the lid itself. I'm gonna place a generous amount of hot glue inside the tin. And for this part, you're gonna wanna move pretty quickly because you don't want your hot glue to harden before you place your picture inside your tin. I'm gonna grab a towel to really press this down because I don't want my fingerprints all over the picture. Now using a fabric sheet, I'm gonna take and wipe down the inside of my tin lid and I'm also gonna wipe down inside where my picture is and even just kind of wipe over my picture just a bit because I will be putting some faux snow inside of this. This step is completely optional. I just like the look of it and so that's what I'm putting in here. By using the fabric softener to wipe down the inside of this, it keeps the faux snow, which seems to be a bit unruly, from sticking to your picture and the lid of your tin canister. Because I'm making an ornament out of this tin canister, I'm gonna use my ribbon to make a hanger. But before I attach my hanger, I'm gonna wrap some ribbon around the outside of my canister just to dress it up a bit. Before I completely wrap the outside of this canister, I'm gonna attach my hanger to the top of the canister. And once I've got my hanger hot glued, I'm gonna finish wrapping the outside of this tin with my ribbon. And this is gonna give it just a bit of a more finished look. Now I'm gonna take and disassemble the pine, berry, and pine needle bunch that I got from the Dollar Tree because I'm gonna use this to decorate the top of this ornament. And I'm just gonna hot glue just a bit to the top where my hanger is. I don't wanna overdo this, but I just wanna add just a bit to this to dress it up so it doesn't look so plain and undone and unfinished. And I think for this ornament, just adding the pine needles and a couple of berries is just the finishing touch. And would you look at how stinking cute this turned out. I love the look of these. And I tell you, these make for such an awesome Christmas gift. They make for the perfect Christmas ornament or you can even just make it to put on the refrigerator. 
Every year I make Jeff's mom a personalized picture ornament of the kids. And so this year I decided to incorporate Allie's school picture into the smaller ones. The wallet size school picture works perfect for this size tin. And for this one, I thought it'd be cute just to add a bit of the pine needles to the top and surround it with the crystallized tree branches that I got from Walmart for 97 cents. And look at what a fun gift these are to give. And not only are they fun, but they are budget friendly and quick and easy as well. When I said that this was quick and easy, it was quick and easy. And the outcome of these are amazing. I love how beautifully these turned out. And what I love is that really there was no painting involved. There was just a lot of hot gluing and actually putting it together, which makes for a really quick and easy DIY. And of course, if you wanted to paint these tins and really personalize them and decorate them a bit more, you could always do that. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 3000 likes because those thumbs up really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody.